everybody, it's Christy with Christy Cole Artistry and um, before I show you tonight's color palette I wanted to remind you of our last painting color palette. So here are the colors that we used in our um, uh, delightful turquoise painting. We used a peacock pearl, we used the aquamarine mixed with turquoise, we used cobalt blue metallic cobalt blue. We used thalo green and then we used our um, split colors of our permanent blue light and our Liquitex basic and blick white mixed together for our background of our white color. So that was our color palette for our last painting. Hey everybody, Christy with Christy Cole Artistry. Thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, just got home from work, so I'm going to put together a video for you, and then I'm going to go sit down and relax. It was a long day. Um, I have a 20 by 24 canvas here, and um, I had done a painting the other night, and I used a green palette, and I didn't like the results of it, so I did scrape that canvas, and I put the 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 goodies that I scraped into this cup and that is going to be one of our split colors tonight. So I am going to do kind of a green palette but I'm also going to use a violet and my 24 karat gold. So I'm going to go ahead and get this canvas split and I'll bring you down and we'll get started tonight. Thank you for joining me and thank you to my subscribers. I'll be right back. our green and white split. I have retained some of the green for um, filling in the edges after we blow this out, but I've taken a lot off the table here and patted it onto the sides to uh, be sure that I've got a nice starter coat, you might say, on the canvas and to make sure that it ran all the way down so that we can have a good blowout. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is, there's lots of bubbles popping up, so we are going to go ahead and torch the bubbles. And again, this green was made by um, a green palette that I tried on another canvas that started out really pretty, but um, in the end it wasn't what I was looking for, so I decided to scrape it. And I really like the green that came out of it because um, the green was um, a sap green, um, a really light green, was this green, and then this sap green. And then two of the greens we are going to use tonight, which one is hooker's green and the other one is my metallic leaf green. Um, and um, all four of those greens did not go very well together with the design that I was trying to do. So in the end, I didn't like it. I scraped it. I got this beautiful green out of all that. And we're gonna do a little bit um, different tonight. Okay, so I'm checking the bubbles one more time. Need to be all popped except for that one on there. Okay. So again, um, we're going to do a green palette. I'm going to start out with this uh, Academy Acrylic Hooker's Green Hue. This is a color that I recently purchased and haven't used yet. And I just mixed these up in these little cups because I knew it wouldn't need much. Um, the next one is my Metallic Leaf Green by Artist Loft. Shimmer and Shine. Next we are going to use our 24 karat, um, 24 karat Gold by Decoart Extreme Sheen. And then I'm going to use this beautiful Academy Acrylic Deep Violet. I love that color. I thought about putting in a rouge, but I think that would be almost be too much. So I'm going to leave it at these four colors and see what happens, because we do have our split color as well. So, all right. Um, I 
have them in these hard plastic cups, which are really hard to pour from. So I am just going to give it a squeeze and hope that I don't make a mess out of it. Big old bubble in there. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, so that was Hunter Green. Hunter's, what was it called? Hooker's. Yeah, Hooker's Green Hue. Okay. Um, next is my leaf green, metallic leaf green, which is a lighter green, but it has a beautiful shimmer to it that I'm hoping we end up keeping. Okay, here we go. already see the shimmer in it. Next we are going to put in our uh, 24 karat gold. And then I'm going to put in the deep violet. I think we need a, an accent and I think purple is a beautiful accent. I think we can get the clog out of it. There we go. All right, so those are our four colors for this evening's painting. I'm gonna torch the colors. And we're gonna blow this out. Here we go. I lost a lot right here in, with a lot of white, so I'm going to try to s take some of the white out here. But I really like the colors. They're not too overwhelming. The purple is just beautiful accent throughout the whole painting. Yeah, I love these streaks, but I, I need, there's some too much white in here. So I need to take some of that out. But oh, it's so pretty. Let's see what comes up. This is really pretty right here. It stayed really dark. And I love it against the um, the lighter green. It's really kind of cool. It's starting to pop up here too. Yeah, there's a lot underneath there, so hopefully that will come back too. Alright, I'm going to I'm gonna play with this little area here and a little bit here just to make it a little more. A little less. How about that? A little less white. <laughs> and then I'll bring you down and I'll show you this beautiful painting. I'll be right back. So what do you think about this painting? The green, like I said, is a mixture of um, the four greens that I tried to do a different blowout with um, and decided I didn't like it so I scraped it. Love this green color. It's beautiful. And then look at the deep violet, the leaf green, the hooker's green, and the um, 24 karat gold, and look at how pretty this came out. First I want to show you the table, because look, look at the splotch on the table. It's so pretty. All right, so now here's the painting. And I love how deep the violet is mixed with the greens and the gold. Um, in some places, and I like how it lightened it up in others like this. It helps your eye go across the painting. It's beautiful. 
there's cells popping out. These little purple cells are popping through, so we're going to see what happens with those. We've got some of the pastel. Oh, and we hit the gold there. I was going to touch that, and I decided, nope, I kind of like it as an outline. And then we've got a little petal here that's got some gold and some of the deep violet in it. Then we go up to this one. It's still doing something here with all these pretty cells. And then this is one of my favorite spots right here. The deep violet, the gold, and the greens, both greens, have mixed together to make this beautiful petal here. It's just gorgeous. And then we go up and there's some crazy cells going on right here. Look at these. I kind of hope they expand a little bit more to this side. And I might actually help them. But then as we continue up, oh look at this. This is so cool. The violet, the white, and the silver kind of pushed through the lighter green and made this. That is just crazy going on there. And then it goes all the way up to here. Beautiful. And then we end with this beautiful purple, gold, and the greens leaf up here. So pretty. So let me see if I can take you up without getting my cord in the paint. Look at how pretty this is. And again, this is a 20 by 24 and I've got it running uh, vertically because I really wanted to start at the corner and have your eye drawn up to that beautiful dark petal up there. And I think it's, I think it came out beautifully. So please let me know what you think in the comments about this color combination, about the um, the design or the composition of it, and what do you think about some of these crazy cells going on? Sometimes people say, "Oh, I saw this in the in the painting, or I saw this," and every once in a while when I'm um, uh, editing the videos, I do see some of the stuff that is later uh, brought out in the comments. Um, but you guys find some interesting things that I don't even see, so I have to go back and look at the videos again and see. Oh yeah, now I see, you know, what that person was saying. So, thank you for your comments. Thank you for being my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed and you like what I'm doing, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Um, some videos, you know, some paintings don't come out, but I still show them to you because I don't want you to think that everything we put out there is perfect. Um, art is something that you feel, something that you um, express the best you can, and sometimes they don't come out to what someone might think they should, but there's some things where I still like them, like my painting that came out a few, we a few weeks ago? Yeah, a few weeks ago now. I meant to do the scroll design, and I ended up making an S, because I did it backward. But it still came out beautiful, so I still showed you the video because I want you to see things, you know, that uh, come out right, it's come out wrong. One of these days I should put together a um, bloopers clip for you guys because you would be amazed at how absolutely silly I can be. Um, but anyway, in the meantime, I'm going to try to take you down so that you can see the shimmer. I'm hoping you can see it like I can in not only the gold, but in the um, leaf green. It's still it's hard to see when it's my lights are on here and everything's so wet. But I'm hoping that uh, by putting on my three coats of high gloss varnish, um, that it will come out as beautiful dry as it is right now. So thank you all for watching. Um, and until my next video in three days, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Bye!